This is not a viral TikTok spaghetti squash because I've been doing this for years, minus all the cheese and minus the meat. Yes, this is meatless and it's so creamy and flavorful and delicious. And guess what? My niece going to try it for y'all. Uh-huh. And I'm going to show you how to make it. So stick around, please. Charles. Yes. Your lunch is ready. Oh, what's this? All right. My niece is about to try this and <laughs> tell me what she thinks. She is it? it is my creamy spaghetti squash. It's not the viral TikTok one because I've been doing this for years. Mm -hmm. But this one has no meat or anything. <laughs> She's smelling it. All right, you ready? Mm -hmm. I see. Spicy? It is. <laughs> you can try some more before you give me your honest review. Oh. <laughs> okay. Mm. Honestly, it's Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter that there's no meat in it. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's creamy. Like the noodles are done. Mm -hmm. Or the squash is done. <laughs> Definitely has cake. Oh, yeah. You know, love cake. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it a lot. You like it a lot? Mm -hmm. What you give it? Scale 1 to 10? Definitely a 10. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to, um, yeah, finish it. <laughs> you going to finish it? Yeah. And there you have it, folks. 10 out of 10. Now let me show you how to make it. All right, y'all, so first we're going to start with this beautiful baby um, spaghetti squash. I took off the thing, and I went ahead and washed that bad boy because uh, it probably was dirty. <laughs> y'all, let me tell you, I had a time with this knife as always, but no worries because people say if you put it in the oven or the microwave, it, you know, makes it easier. But I like a challenge, so, you know, I did it. <laughs> it may not be even, but y'all get the gist of it, okay? So I went ahead and I fast forward and I peeled all of the guts out. I got in there with my hands. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty, baby, because, um, if you don't, you're not a cook. Oh, cool. All right, y'all, I'm just kidding. But anyway, <laughs> let's get this done. And look, it is done. All right, y'all, here we go. So I took some olive oil spray and I sprayed it down. Now, here's the thing. I don't like too much oil. I try not to use it if I can. So I just went ahead and settled for the olive oil spray. And I seasoned it up with some salt, some garlic and onion powder, and some black pepper. I don't tr use butter either. So I, you know, been off butter for about five, six years now. And I'm proud of myself. Hey, <laughs> okay. So go ahead and rub that on down. I mean, get in now. Yeah, yeah. All right, y'all. I'm sorry. I lost, um, I lost focus for a minute. <laughs> so go ahead and give it a really, really, really good rub. Okay. Once you're done, it should look like this. Now we're going to go ahead and take our pan. I added about two cups of water to this pan, maybe two and a half cups. And I put the squash in there face side down, okay? Then we pop those bad boys in the oven for 50 minutes on 360. Now let's cut up some seasoning. So I went ahead and I diced up some green bell pepper, some scallion or green onion, I shall say, some tom one tomato and a half of an onion. We're going to do a rough chop. We don't have to get all fancy because I want these to be uh, bite-sized pieces because we're not using meat. So we need a little bit of depth for our sauce. So please forgive me how I cut this tomato. Like I said, it's a rough chop. I'm not trying to be all fancy like <laughs> so yeah we're gonna keep going ahead and uh chop these up really really well uh th i don't want them too small so i would say about the size of a chopped carrot or a pea i guess um then i'm gonna ahead and chop this onion up y'all know i had to get fancy with the onion yeah no yeah no <laughs> i'm just kidding but yeah, this is the fastest way to do it right here, okay? So once that's done, guess what? It should look like this. So like I told y'all, I tried to, not to do oil. Uh, so I added about a cup of water in, in the pot, okay? Then I went ahead and I added my seasonings to it. Go ahead and give that a quick mix, all right? Then I went ahead and seasoned some garlic powder, some paprika. I added a little bit of crushed red pepper flakes because y'all know I like spice. If you don't like spice, you can leave it out. I added some black pepper. I added some parsley. I added some onion powder. And I added some Tony's Creole seasoning. And I gave it a really, really good mix, okay? You want to make sure it's fully incorporated. 
good. Then I went ahead and covered it for about five minutes and let those veggies sweat. After five minutes, take it off. It should look like this. Then I added a half cup of crushed tomatoes. Go ahead and stir that on in just like this. I added one tablespoon of cream cheese. You can do low fat or non fat cream cheese, okay? This is the only cheese that we're using. Then I added about a tablespoon of granular sugar. This is sugar in the raw, okay? Then I added about three cups of spinach leaves and I went ahead and I gave it a really good mix. Then we took out our spaghetti squash and we shredded them just like so. Let me tell you, I did burn my hand a little bit, you know, just a little bit. But um, my mama always said that if you never get burnt in the kitchen, you not a cook. <laughs> So, you know, I took the challenge and I burned myself a couple times. But anyway, here's how they look. So beautiful. So I went ahead and I transferred them to my bowl. Like I told you, I burned my hand. I was like, ah, ah, ooh, ah. <laughs> all right. So then I went ahead and I added the other one to it as well. Because we're going to go ahead and mix it with the sauce. All right, y'all. And that's how it look. All right. So let's go ahead and put that sauce. That sauce is thick rich and creamy honey yes that's how you want it to look okay give it a really good mix make sure you stir fully incorporated okay add it back add your little garnish and this is how it looks enjoy 